Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here, walking the road to my 407th Platinum Trophy. And man, it has been like a few weeks now, I think, since I've gotten a Platinum. It has been quite a while. So this is going to be another one of those two Platinum videos, the way that my, uh, I think it was 403, 404 was. It might have been, no, it wasn't 403, 404 that was like that. It was a different one. But anyway, there is our Platinum Trophy. Today's game for number 407 and then number 408 is Tetra's Escape. This is going to be the two North American versions, the North American PS4 and the North American PS Vita. Uh, this is a Rattalaika game, so as always, it's a pretty quick and easy Platinum Trophy. Nothing much to worry about with it. Uh, in order to get the Platinum Trophy, I did the European version of this like a really, really long time ago. Finally got around to doing the North American version. Uh, it's a decent little puzzle game. It's not too bad. I mean, I've certainly played worse out there. Anyway, to get all of the trophies in this game, you are going to get a majority of them just by completing the first six worlds here. Scroll down a little early there. So yeah, just complete the first six worlds. That's going to get you a number of the trophies. Then you have to complete all of the stars and the cup. So basically in each level, there are going to be three stars and then a cup you can pick up. You have to collect the three stars and the cup in every level from the first four worlds. There's a total of eight worlds in the game. You only have to complete the first six, and you only have to get the collectibles in the first four, which is good. But if you want to just skip a couple of the tougher ones in the first four worlds and do a couple of the later ones that are really easy, that's perfectly fine because there's some really, really easy ones even into world six. So that might be able to save you just a little bit of time. Uh, anyway, you have to save 200 total Tetras and move 2,500 blocks. Now, you'll get the 1,000 blocks and the 10 and 100 Tetras through natural progression. The 200 Tetras and the 2,500 blocks is a little bit more annoying. These two are going to take just a little bit of grinding uh, at the end of the game. I believe it was level 2-3 that, re that you replay for a while. You only have to do it for maybe like 10 minutes or so probably, but you'll have to just keep replaying the level over and over again to get the saving the Tetris trophy and then just walk 2,500 boxes which is just walk left and right on that lower area until it unlocks it's not difficult it's just a little bit of a grind uh this one is unmissable this is the last trophy i got it's best done on world one level six so one dash six uh this one you might get this one by accident uh if not though it's still very easy to do you can do it on really any level uh, this one is best done on one of the world, I believe it was world 6, it was either world 5 or 6 has a level that's good for it. I don't remember which one though, actually we can probably see it in the trophy image here. So I did it on world 6-3, or level 6-3, so that's where I'd suggest doing it. And then burn all the tetras in the same level. There's a level near the end of the game in world 6 where there's a whole bunch of fire areas in a row. So that's the best place to get that trophy. So, uh, with that, let me go ahead and resync again, just to make sure. Level 71%, 13, 17,338 total trophies, 407 platinums, 2,321 golds, 4,457 silvers, 10,153 bronzes. I will be back in just a moment, guys, with platinum number 408, which is going to be the North American Vita version of the same game. Alright guys, we're back now for Platinum number 408, which is of course the North American PlayStation Vita version of Tetris Escape. Uh, this version is completely identical in terms of trophies and everything to the PS4 version. There's no difference. All you have to do is do everything I talked about earlier. Just complete those first six worlds uh, during the first four, get all the stars and all the cups, or maybe even skip a few of those and do a few later on that are easier. Uh, save 200 Tetras and walk 2,500 boxes by grinding it out on level 2-3. Uh, this one's unmissable. Uh, this one you do on level 1-6. This one you can do wherever you want, and it might even happen by accident. This one can be done near the end of the game in World 6. And this one can be done in World 6 as well. So the Vita version I felt like played maybe just a little bit slower, had slightly longer load times. But that's really about it in terms of like things that weren't as good about it. Uh, otherwise, it was fine. I did it faster. I did it like seven minutes faster, I think. So, with that, level 70, 13%, 17,360 total trophies, 408 platinums, 2,329 golds, 4,466 silvers, 10,159 total bronzes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.